What really are instincts and where do they come from? I think that instincts is, is primarily a secular term, but it really refers to that inner uh, drive that causes you to gravitate toward one thing or another, uh, to use that to understand that, that God has a compass inside of us that is instinctive and inherent and intrinsically endowed with us. Most of us spend all of our time looking for what other people think, but really your guidance comes from within. You know, it's one thing that you say in the book that really stood out to me. So I'm going to read this really quickly. Intellect without instinct can only explain and explicate, but not execute. And it reminded me of something my grandmother used to say, which was someone had all the book sense and no common sense. <laughs> right. It really made me think about that. Why is intellect without instinct, why is that not enough? You know, it is not enough in every aspect of our lives, uh, whether you're talking about business. And I'm a great believer in data. You know, I, I want to look at all everything. I want to go over the facts and the stats and all of that. But I've never seen anybody become a great winner just looking at the intellectual aspect of it. It is. It really comes down to the raw gut instinct of knowing when to do what. Now, intellect may load the gun, but instinct pulls the trigger. And so many people have spent 10 or 20 years with capabilities loaded, but never shot. You have to have the instinct to, to go out on the limb, to really pull the trigger in your life and say, at this season in my life, I'm going to let it rip and let it rip in a way that is organic to who I am and not to what I have been assigned. Not controlled by a job, not controlled by what you need from me. This is about tying into who I really am organically and allowing that to be released in my life. That's really success. And you just mentioned the word seasons. How do we know exactly when it's time to really follow our instincts and depend on that more than anything else? I think that the, that the seeds of greatness germinate in the fields of adversity. And I think that when the time is right and you've extracted enough from your experiences to launch out on your own, you know it because your soul is full and, and the womb of your life has become too small to hold you. And, and that is the same thing that occurs when we are naturally born and we are continually being reborn again and again out of different uh, uh, wounds and, and different matrix and different, sometimes the job is a matrix, sometimes uh, where you worked was a matrix and it, you, you were meant to learn and be nurtured there, but when you get too big for it and it's constraining, it's time to burst into another dimension. It doesn't mean that it was a bad thing. Everything's wonderful in its season, but just because it was wonderful doesn't mean that we have to be uh, st stuck there. We have to be able to move forward. And what's one way, let's say, for example, practically someone would actually follow their instincts, one specific area or some action they would take? Well, it's like somebody who has the courage to start their own business, to be an entrepreneur. And maybe secretly you've always had that inclination and didn't have the courage. Uh, and then all of a sudden you decide, I'm going to start. I may do it in a big way or I may start out in my living room. It doesn't matter where you start. It matters how you finish. It matters that, that you give an account for all the talents and gifts that God placed inside of you. God didn't give you one thing that he didn't have a purpose for. And what are you doing with what God gave you? That's what the book Instinct is all about. Tapping into what he gave you, owning that he has given you something and having the courage to bring it to fruition by instinct. One thing you talk about in the book is looking at how others who've been successful have been able to do what they did and asking what did they do, why did they do it? And you talk about Oprah, you talk about Steve Jobs and other trailblazers. I would say you're a trailblazer yourself. Thank you. So how has instincts impacted your life and your ability to accomplish the things that God set before you? You know, see, if, see it, it really boils down to this. Uh, all of our intellect is educated by what we have seen before, okay? So that, that means that we are educated by past experiences or what we read. But instincts lunge forward. It's about where I'm going. And uh, I did things like I was one of the first men to write a book to women 
what the, the publishers didn't even want to publish it because they had no s substantiating data to verify that this would work. But my instinct said that it would, and we sold five million copies. I, I did Megafest. Uh, we didn't even have a name for it. And took the men's conference and the women's conference and, and decided that I wasn't going to have my conference in a building. I was going to have it in a city. And I was going to use all the buildings in the city to accommodate the conference, which was an overarching idea that you, that you don't see anybody do. Instincts take you where men have never been before, to do what they've never done before, to be creative. People who follow their instincts create things that other people end up studying. There, there's a line in John Maxwell's book that, that I, I found quite inspirational. He says that if you know how to do something, you will always have a job. But if you know why they're doing it, they will always work for you. What role does God play in this whole idea of following your instincts? He put them in there, <laughs> you know. That's the that's the role he plays. He put them in there. We are we are pre-wired. The Bible says, "I pray that the eyes of your understanding might be enlightened, that you might know what is the hope of His calling." And that calling is based on what He hoped for when He created you. That's what He's calling out of you, and and what is the riches of His inheritance in the saints that He pre-wired you. Your destiny is in, in how he wired you. And all you're seeing through time is the outworking of the internal. So God has everything to do with instincts because it is the blueprint through which the architectural design was created in the first place. And now I'm challenging you, challenging you to use those instincts to see, to manifest outwardly what he has breathed in inwardly.